Hey there stampers, this is Sherry Roth. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Canada and welcome to day two of my 12 days of holiday tags, bags, and gift packaging ideas. Today we are going to play with the classic Clush stamp set. This is in the July to December 2021 Stampin' Up! mini catalog um, and it is available as a bundle with some coordinating dies. However, we are using the stamp set only today and we're going to combine it with the Stitched So Sweetly dies. Okay, so what you're gonna need if you want to craft along with me today is you'll need uh, two pieces of white, one that measures three by four and another one that measures about three and an eighth by three inches. The three by four inch piece you'll take and you'll die cut using this largest label shape from the Stitched So Sweetly dies, okay? And then you'll need three ink colors. You'll need Memento ink, Knight of Navy ink, and Gray Granite ink. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We are gonna take our label shape. So that's one of the great things about stamps is even though it comes in a bundle, you can combine it with a variety of different things in your collection. It's one of the things I love about being a crafter so I am taking the outline image of the, the little village and the trees. I'm inking it up with memento ink and I'm gonna stamp it in the center of my label shape. So if you don't have these stitched so sweetly dies, you could really use any die shape for this. You could use circles. If you've got circles, you could use, you could even just cut a square, you could cut a tag shape. You could really do any number of things. All right, now we're going to bring in the gray granite. And this time we're going to take this image. So it kind of looks like there's clouds in the back, but those are actually, that's how you can add some color to your trees. And I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of paper. And I'm also gonna bring in my stamp and pierce mat. Because this is a more solid image, I do find that it makes a difference if you have your stamp and pierce mat underneath. So I'm gonna ink that up with that gray granite ink. I'm gonna stamp it off. And then I'm gonna stamp it onto here. And that's really hard when you can't get right over top. I think that looks good. All right, so that adds just a little bit of color. So it adds some color where the trees are, in the windows, and then along the roof line of the, the houses. Okay, now we'll bring in our Knight of Navy ink. And we can move this out of the way. And this time we're gonna take this image which is the image that will add color to our little village houses. So I'm gonna ink that up with navy. I'm not gonna stamp off. I'm gonna leave it dark. And the easiest way to line this up is to look at the windows. Try to get the windows lined up where they need to be. And then stamp that down. While we have our navy ink, we're gonna bring in our little narrow strip and we're going to add the greeting, warmth, joy, happiness. And we'll stamp that right in the center. Okay, and one last thing, we're gonna flip our tag over and we're gonna stamp the back. I'm going to use the greeting that says the magic of Christmas never ends. So I'm gonna stamp that on the back. You could also just stamp to and from if you wanted to, if you wanted to leave the greeting off. And that will go in the center. Okay, we've got all of our stamped images. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our Wink of Stella and I am just going to go along the snow that is on the roof lines, just to add a little bit of shimmer. And it's really, really subtle, but it does add just a hint of sparkle, which is always 
a nice touch. So this classic Clush stamp set was one that I offered as a class to go back in October, I believe it was. And um, although the class to go is no longer available, uh, the tutorial is. So I will share a little peek at the cards, five of the six cards that we created in class. And I'll, I'll post a link in the tutorial for the tutorial in the description below in case anybody's interested in picking that up. Okay, so I've taken my 1 8 inch handheld punch and I've punched a hole in the top. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and just angle cut these sides. Just makes it look a bit more decorative. And I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm gonna kind of curl it so it goes kind of like that. And then we're gonna bring in some dimensionals and some regular adhesive. Now for my dimensionals, I'm just gonna trim the edges. And I'm gonna take two of the pieces that I cut and I'm gonna stack them one on top of the other because I really want it to keep that shape, okay? So I've got two pieces of dimensional stacked one on top of the other. And then right here, I'm gonna add a little bit of flat adhesive. And on this end, I'm going to add a little bit of flat adhesive. So I'm just using the stamp and seal. And then I'm gonna position this down like that. I'll give that a push where that flat adhesive is. And then you can see that that's popped up nicely where that double layer of dimensionals are, where those double, where that layer of dimensionals are, is. Okay, now I'm gonna take about eight, in eight inches of the, uh, what is it called? Simply Elegant Trim. So this comes in a package with silver and gold. And so I've got the gold here. I'm just gonna feed that through. And then I'm gonna loosely tie a knot at the top because I want to be able to untie that so that I can attach it to a gift bag if I want to, or around some ribbon. So I'll just loosely tie that. And there we go. We've got an adorable little tag that's so quick and easy, but adds a nice little touch to a holiday gift. So cute. So this one's with silver, this one's with gold. And then remember I said I'd share a peek at the cards that we created in the classic Clush class to go. So here's one little shaker card, another little shaker card, and then just a regular one. We've got some with birds that still uses the clush, but not a shaker card. So you can see that there's a lot of variety with this stamp set and the coordinating dies. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Remember that I will be back again tomorrow with day three of the holiday tags, bags, and gift packaging uh, series. All right, thanks so much for watching. Take care.